By the way, does Captain Beto play Genius Invocation TCG by any chance? Yes. In fact, she's one of the best in the whole Crux fleet. Would you mind putting in a word for me, Kazuha? I'm a longtime fan of Captain Beto's. I always hoped I'd be friends with her someday, but so far I've never had the chance. Sure. But please be gentle when you inevitably defeat her in Genius Invocation. Hi there, my name's Charlotte. I'm a reporter for the Steambird. Could I borrow a moment of your time for a brief interview? Huh, <sighs> sure. Go ahead. You made a promising start in this competition, leaving many contenders in the dust on your way to the finals, before narrowly missing out on a championship win when you lost to director Hu Tao of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. Ah, it must be difficult for you knowing how close you came to victory. With this in mind, would you like to share your thoughts on how the final match played out? Uh... Sorry, do you want an answer for the media, or do you want my actual thoughts? I'd like to hear your actual thoughts, of course. <sighs> well, I've always said that playing cards is 70% skill and 30% luck. But when your opponent rolls six dice of the same element at once, there's no coming back from that. Not even with Adeptus level skills. So there was no hope for a mere adventurer like me. I've heard that even the unofficial Genius Invocation Tournament is enjoying a huge turnout. Many serious TCG players have registered for both the official and unofficial ones. As for me, I don't mind trying my hand at the trending games from time to time, though I still prefer chess. But when it comes down to it, whatever differences there may be between the various games around, they all share one important thing in common. They bring friends together.